The Abbott and Costello Kid Show, produced and transcribed in Hollywood, with our guest star, Brooke Red Ryder Temple, and featuring the Lou Costello Junior Youth Foundation Award. Every Saturday morning on this program, some lucky boy or girl receives hundreds of dollars worth of valuable gifts and gold trophies of good citizenship. Every boy and girl in the country is eligible for this award. We'll tell you how to win it later in the program. But now let's have some laughs with our stars, Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Hey! All right, all right, here I am. What's in that book you're carrying under your arm? It's a mystery book. Uh, a I, mystery I, book? I just bought it. You, no kidding. Yes. What's the name of it? It's entitled, Who Buried the Electric Light Bulb or Mazda's in a Cold, Cold Ground? I... <laughs> Shame on you reading mystery books. Well, why don't you read something educational? I read that stuff, too. You do? I went to the library, and I got a book called The Science of Molecular Atomic Radar Activity as Related to Super Destructive Propane Qualities... And there's only one thing I don't understand about the book. And what's that? Why they let a dope like me take it out of the library. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind that. How are you coming with your music lessons? Are you uh, making any progress? Abbott, I'll have you know that I've been working on a musical composition for over three years. But there's one place where I get stuck. <laughs> one place you get stuck? I get stuck <laughs> in one place. Well, go ahead and play it on the organ. Try it out. Maybe I can help you. Uh, tell me. Tell me when you come to the place where you get stuck. Huh? Okay. okay. All right, now, you go ahead over to the organ there. <laughs> Well, go ahead. I can't. That's where I'm stuck. I... <laughs> yeah, dummy, you'll never amount to anything. Why don't you go into business and try, try to make some money? I am in business, oh. Abbott. I got, a, I got an invention that the kids will go crazy about. It's a chocolate-covered hard-boiled egg on a stick. <laughs> a chocolate-covered hard-boiled egg on a stick? It's called the yolk-sickle. Uh, yolk sickle. <laughs> yolk Costello, the inefficiency of your cranial matter is so minute as to practically border on the non-existent. That's a good suggestion, Abbott, but I'll fry mine in deep fat. Right. <laughs> now, now, Costello, I'm trying to tell you that you're dumb, you're ignorant, you're stupid. You've been stupid all your life. I have not. I'm yeah. a very smart baby. Here. <laughs> Look at this picture of me with my nurse when I was only two years old. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something wrong with this picture. The nurse is sitting on your lap. That shows you how smart I was when I was only two years old. And now the singing star of the Abbott and Costello Kid Show, 10-year-old Anna Mae Slaughter. Anna Mae, what would you like to sing for us today? I'd like to do a number that I think will be a big hit, Underneath the Arches. That's wonderful. I think so, too. Underneath the arches, I dream my dreams away. Underneath the arches, on cobblestone and lay. Every night you'll find me tired out and warm. Happy when the daylight comes creeping. Heralding the dawn, sleeping when it's raining, and sleeping when it's fine. I hear the train rattling by above. Pavement is my pillow, no matter where I stray. Underneath the arches, I dream my dreams away. You'll find me tired out and worn. Happy when the daylight comes creeping, heralding the dawn. Sleeping when it's raining and sleeping when it's fine. I hear the train rattling by above. Pavement is my tail. No matter where I stray, underneath the arches, I dream of my dreams away. Oh, 
And now we present our guest star. Today's star is a favorite of kids all over the country. I'll bet every kid listening in and every kid in this audience is one of his fans. This man's name is Brooke Temple, but you kids know him as America's famous fighting cowboy, Red Ryder. Hi, kids, and thanks, Johnny. And now, kids, uh, how would you like to meet the boy that plays the part of Little Beaver in the Red Rider series? You would? Okay. Okay, I've got a big surprise for you. Little Beaver is played by your old pal, the announcer of the Abbott and Costello Kids show, Johnny McGovern. Ha-ha! <laughs> Thank you, Red Rider. Me think I'll meet them pale face, sneak him up behind you. Be him careful, Red Rider. I will. <laughs> Be him careful, Red Rider. <laughs> Me see him peek him pale face him coming up, 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 up and behind oh, him, sh- find him, knew him. What? <laughs> what kind of talk is that? <laughs> Now, look, Johnny, that's not a nice thing to say about me. I'm, I'm your pal. Call me a pale face. Well, I don't think he meant you, Costello. When Johnny said pale face, he was pointing to Mr. Abbott. Well, that's different. You can call him pale face. He's got a pail just like a bucket. <laughs> I mean, he's got a face like a pail. <laughs> and his nose looks like a mop head. All right, never mind. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> enough of the insults. You look him very bad him to day him. <laughs> Pink, pink rider. All right. <laughs> I'm his little beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Look, never mind the insults, Costello. Look, Red Rider, how about you and I and Costello doing a little Red Rider program for the kids? Hey, you got an idea. That's fine, bud. All right. Let's say that the three of us are traveling across the Mojave Desert looking for a lost gold mine. <laughs> All right, come on, Costello. Get those pack mules up here. It's getting dark, and this is bad man's territory. Okay, Red. Come on, jerk. Jack. <laughs> come on, Jack. Come on, Jenny. Get in. Costello, what's the idea of having those mules' tails tied together? There's a couple of gophers following, and they like to skip rope. <laughs> those are nice mules you've got there, Costello. Yes. The little one's name is Jenny. She's cute. Come here, Jenny, and give Abbott a kiss. (laughs) Sure cools you off, don't it? (laughs) Now, look, Costello, behave yourself. We've got to get to the gulch and make camp before dark. Uh, You know, I think we're lost now. I don't see any sign of a trail. Hey, Abbott, look. There's a big rock over there with some writing on it. What does it say? What does it say, Costello? Can't you read it? No. I can read reading, but I can't read writing. (laughs) Well, get out of the way. Let's see. Hey, it says, under this stone lies Billy the Kid. Yeah, but it's a good thing we come along. Come on, help me move the stone. We got to get the kid out of there. No, no. no. (laughs) Now, hold it, partner. The kid's not under there. The inscription says, this rock marks the spot where the Billy the Kid fell in 1861. No wonder he fell. I nearly tripped over the darn thing myself. (laughs) You know, Abbott, I think the heat of the desert is affecting Costello's mind. We haven't had a drop of water to drink in 24 hours. We've got to find a water hole. Look. Look, Abbott. Is that a lake over there, or am I seeing a garage? Not... (laughs) Look, Lou, not garage. The word is mirage. That's silly. Mirage is what my mother puts on top of her pies. Lemon mirage pies. (laughs) No, you don't mean mirage. You mean meringue. Meringue? Yeah. That's what we use in our house instead of butter. <laughs> you use meringue? Yeah, all your Marjorie meringue. <laughs> so slippery stuff, too. Look, boys, I don't want to frighten you, but I'm afraid we're lost. Lost in this trackless desert. We've got to climb up to the top of that rocky plateau, and then we may be able to find our bearings. What would our bearings be doing up there? <laughs> Oh, be quiet and follow Red and me. I was quiet and followed Red and you. Now look where I am. I'm lost. All right, quiet, Costello. I'll climb up the rocks first, then I'll drop you a line. Thanks, Red, and I'll write to you, too. <laughs> How long do you expect to be gone, Red? I'm cold. Uh, I think I, I'm getting a chill. There's an Indian. Grab his blanket. Wait. I wonder what kind of an Indian that is. Look what it says on his blanket. Cleveland. Did you ever hear the Cleveland Indians? <laughs> you 
You know, Abbott, I'm thirsty, too, and I've got to have something to drink. Well, here, Costello, take a little sip of this homemade cactus juice. Okay. Hey, this stuff is killing me. I can't understand that. That cactus juice was made personally by the Blackfeet Indians. They must have left one of their feet in it. <laughs> it's kicking me in the stomach. Hey, it's getting dark. It's getting so dark, I, I can't see a thing. Boys, I think I found the entrance to an old deserted gold mine. I'll just stick in my arm right through this opening. Hmm, mighty cold and damp in there. Get your hand out of my mouth. <laughs> hey, look, Ryder. I think I see some gold shining right in front of me. Say, you're right, bud. I see that gold, too. Well, here, I'll dig that out with my knife. Red Rider for coming on the Abbott and Costello Kids Show today. Well, you don't have to thank me, bud. My business is entertaining kids, and this has really been an opportunity. You know, I understand this show is broadcast to kids all over the world. That's right, Red. And I'm sure you've made a lot of new friends today. And thanks again. You're a swell guy, Red Rider. Thanks, all. Of you. And now for our quiz game, Bubble or Nothing. Each kid in the audience gets a piece of Bergen's Better Bubble Gum and a pocket full of Charlie McCarthy money. We have ten kids on the stage, chosen from the studio audience. They're all chewing Bergen's Better Bubble Gum. The kid who blows the biggest bubble in ten seconds gets a special prize. Every kid who blows a bubble gets to be a contestant. Those who don't blow bubbles get nothing. So let's go with bubble or nothing. Well, the contestants are chewing their Bergen's Bubble Gum. On the count of three, the gong will ring, and they will start blowing. Are you ready, kids? One... Two, three. Come on. Well, there they go. All the kids come Every on. one of them. Bergen's all bubble gum. Come, come on. A that's Bergen's bubble gum. Look at the size of the bubbles. You really like bubbles. You blow with that. There you are. There's a big one. I see a big one. Come on. 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 Come well, little fella and little girl, you both won the contest here for blowing the biggest bubble. Can't get out of your mouth yet, honey? Huh? You got it all over your fingers now, haven't you? What's your name, sweetie? Betty Lou. Betty Lou. What'd you do with your teeth? Where are they? They fall out? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They fall out, huh? Betty Lou what? What's your last name? Matthias. Matthias. I want everybody to... How old are you, Betty? Six. Six. <laughs> Six. You like the little boy on your right? Yeah. Would you like to go study with him? No. Okay. <laughs> you like to go study with the little girl? No. You mean you don't like blondes? No. Why? Because. You see what I mean? He don't like blondes because. Okay. Betty, you won the contest for, for blowing the biggest bubble for girls. Therefore, you win this whole case of delicious vacuum-packed tins of circus peanuts. And after the show, each kid in the audience will get a big bag of these swell circus peanuts. It's a gift from you to them. <laughs> and the little boy over there, he won the contest. What's your name? Leo. Leo what? Victor. Leo Victor. I want everybody to know that Leo Victor was on a radio show today. Do you live here? How old are you, Leo? Six. Good. Do you live here in Los Angeles? Mm -mm. Where do you live? Moore Park. Moore Park? That's good. Now, <laughs> here we go. You're the boy that blew the biggest bubble. Therefore, you get the swell radio from the Burbank Radio and Appliance Company in Burbank, California. It's a gift from Mr. Lacey to you. And, Leo, we have another prize for you, Leo, for... For blowing such a big extra bubble, we give you this Revo Target Top. The Revo Target Top is a fascinating new toy made by Revo of Pasadena. That's for you. And? Wait a minute, Leo. I think we got something else right over here. This is a sterling silver ring with your name engraved, and it comes from the California House of Schrager, from Norman Schrager to you. The beautiful sterling silver ring. What's your name, Leo? Go in a box and pick out your name, Leo. Go right in there and pick it right out. And now we have the next contestant over here, and is she pretty? Oh, she's gorgeous. Come right over here, sweetheart. First of all, honey, I want to ask you your name. Sarah. Sarah. Now, what's your last name? Mitchell. Could you just a little louder, Sarah? Sarah Mitchell. Well, that's a very nice name, and I like it. Who gave you that name? My mama. Well, I think your mama gave you a very beautiful name. How old are you, Sarah? Seven. You're seven years old. Well, Sarah, you're very cute. 
Where'd you get the pigtails? Mama fixed them up too? Yeah. <laughs> they look very cute. Now, here's your question, Sarah. What do you usually find inside of a milk bottle? Nothing. <laughs> you usually find nothing inside of a milk bottle? No. Does the milkman deliver milk to your house? Yeah. When he brings you the milk bottles, what's in it? Nothing. <laughs> well, you better, you better get your mama after that milkman because that guy's delivering you milk with nothing in it. <laughs> he, you better, that must be real pasteurized milk. It goes right past your eyes and that's it. <laughs> well, honey, that might, I guess you're right because if the milkman brings you milk and there's nothing in the bottles, that must be the right answer for you. So therefore, I'm going to send you over to Mr. Abbott, sir, and he's going to give you a beautiful gift. Well, come over here, Dad. And look, look what we have for you. A whole, a whole box of famous chocolate milkshake bars made by the Hollywood Candy Company. And every month for the next year, we will send you another box of these swell bars. And after the show, each kid in the audience gets a chocolate milkshake bar from you. Well, we're off. On the next contestant over here. Here's a little kid here. He, used to, he cuts his hair right now the way I used to cut mine when I was his size. How old are you? Nine. Nine years old. What's your name? Leonard. Leonard. Last name? Miller. Leonard Miller. Where are you from, Leonard? Uh, from New Jersey. We came out here about three years ago. <laughs> You're from New Jersey and you came out here three years ago and you liked it so well you stayed here? Yeah. Whereabouts in New Jersey? Bayonne. Bayonne. You know I'm a Patterson boy? I was, I was born and raised in Patterson, New Jersey. That's a stone's throw from Bayonne. Well, anyway, here's your question. Don't look at this. Don't look at it. That's cheating. Now, here's your question. How many guns do you hear in a 21-gun salute? None. <laughs> None. None, huh? Why? I'm using squirt guns. <laughs> Put one over on you, huh? Well, you can tell he's from New Jersey. You can tell. <laughs> Leonard, here's the sensational new Hollywood reflex camera. Now you can take perfect pictures. And also for you and each contestant on our show, we have a set of the famous Flowball Little Jewel Pens. Well, I have to get on my knees for the next little girl. How old are you? Five. Five years old. You're a very pretty blonde. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Donna Claire Long. Donna Claire Long? And yeah. you're five years old. Yeah. Where do you live, Donna? I live in Chicago. Chicago? <laughs> well, it looks like you have a lot of friends out there. What are you doing in California, Donna? Oh, we're just out here for our vacation. You're just out here for your vacation? Mm -hmm. And you're five years old? Yeah. And you talk like this, huh? Yeah. I think there's a place in motion pictures for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, laughing, huh? <laughs> I like that laugh. As long as we're talking about laughing, I'm going to ask you a question, Donna. What kind of an animal gives a horse laugh? Um. Hmm? Hmm? What kind of an animal gives a horse laugh? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh, 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 what? Oh. Baby horse. <laughs> Well, that's, that's, could that's, be, that's, that's, that's good enough for me. Certainly, that's good enough for me. And that, now, uh, that's the right answer. I'm going to let you have that. Now, how does a baby horse laugh? It hmm? laughs like it goes... Eh! <laughs> 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 it jumps up. The, the little baby horse jumps up? And how does it go when it... How does it laugh when it jumps... <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see Abbott and Costello in pictures? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you could have kept that to yourself, Lou. Huh? Not too many. Oh, but you've seen us in pictures, but not too many. No. When you go to see Abbott and I, do you laugh? You laugh when you see our pictures? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the pictures was funny, how would you laugh? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, Donna, I'm going to send you over to Mr. Rabbit because I think he got a very fine gift for you, and you're a swell little girl, and you talk wonderful. Okay, Donna. Donna? <laughs> Donna, we've got company for you to take back to Chicago with you. You win this pedigreed ideal cocker spaniel puppy and a six-month supply of Wilson's ideal dog food. Ideal feeds your dog in seven ways. And here is your ideal puppy. Take that back to Chicago with you. Well, here's our next contestant over here. Another little guy. How old are you? Six and a half. Six and a half years old. What's your name? Ray. Ray. And your last name? Raymond Michael Shermerhorn. What was that? Raymond Michael Shermerhorn. Raymond Michael Shermerhorn? All right, Raymond Michael Shermerhorn. Here's your question. Now, listen to this one because this is a very difficult question. This is a hard one. Who usually sets off a burglar alarm? My father. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Better you keep quiet, Lou. Uh, <laughs> you kids are killing me. <laughs> well, well, Mike, are you from Los Angeles? Where are you from? I'm from uh, Virginia. Virginia? Way back in Virginia? Whereabouts in Virginia? Hmm? I don't know. You know, just Virginia, huh? It's just the state of Virginia. That's good. Now, here's another question. What kind of fruit is used to make tomato soup? My father. <laughs> <laughs> Your father makes tomato soup? <laughs> now, listen, this is a hard question. What kind of fruit is used to make tomato soup? Soup. Tomato soup. Tomato. You're right. right. You're right. right. I got it. <laughs> right. You win a whole year's supply of famous Jack and Jill ice cream made by Bressler Brothers Ice Cream Company. And after the show, each kid in the audience gets an ice cream cone. And I want all of you kids listening to watch for the Abbott and Costello giant ice cream cone because when you buy a giant cone, you are helping the Luke Costello Youth Foundation. Now, wait a minute. Because you've been such a swell little boy, Ray... We've got an extra prize for you. We have here two pairs of Ranch Champ blue jeans and a Ranch Champ cowboy hat from the Howard Orange Supply Company of Los Angeles. It's all yours. Take it home. With you. Now, honey, on account of we've got to go extra fast, I'm just going to ask you how old you are. Eleven. Eleven, and you're very beautiful, and I want you to walk over to Mr. Abbott right away and say to Mr. Abbott, give me my prize. Go right over to him and say that. Quick. All right, give Dennis. him her prize. Yes, Joe Rudnick's Sporting Goods Shop in Beverly Hills. Here's a beautiful pair of shiny ball bear roller skates. How do you like it? Take them right home with you. Kids here, happy to announce that each week we're sending a thousand pieces of Bergen's Better Bubble Gum and a load of Charlie McCarthy money to the kids at some orphanage or home. Well, kids, how did you like Bubble or Nothing? <laughs> the Lou Costello Jr. Youth Foundation Award. This award is given each week to a boy or girl 16 years of age or younger. You, the listeners, select this winner by writing a letter to Abbott and Costello, Hollywood, California, telling of a good deed or act of heroism done by some boy or girl. The letters are judged by our board of directors, and the winner receives many valuable prizes. The winner of this week's award is four-year-old Patsy Mae Cummings of Raven Glen Farm, Route 45, Illinois. Uh, wait a minute, Johnny. Take it easy for a minute. Are you sure you read that right? A four-year-old girl? Well, that's what it says here, Mr. Abbott. And, Johnny, that is correct, too. Little Patsy Mae Cummins is just four years old. I know it doesn't sound possible for a four-year-old girl to perform a civic good deed which would entitle her to the Lou Costello Jr. Youth Foundation Award. Well, come on. Come tell us what this little four-year-old girl did. I certainly will. Little Patsy Mae Cummings lived with her mother and her 13-month-old baby brother in a trailer on a farm in Illinois. A few weeks ago at 8 o'clock in the evening, Mrs. Cummings, who operates a dairy farm, put little Patsy May and her infant brother James to bed in the trailer. Then they went out to deliver the milk, leaving the two children asleep. Uh, it's 
too bad. She's burned to the ground. It was a nice trailer, too. My baby. My baby. Oh, my poor baby. Now, calm yourself, lady. Are those your babies? Patsy me. Jimmy. You're safe. Yes, we're all right, Mommy. Uh, sorry your trailer burned to the ground, lady, but uh, those things go up awful fast. Oh, well, it's a shame we had to lose our home. But my babies are safe. I don't know how to thank you for saving their lives. Thank goodness you got here in time. Lady, I didn't save the babies. When we got here, the trailer was nearly completely burned out, and that little girl was sitting right where she is now with the baby in her arms. Patsy May. Honey, how did you manage to get the baby out? Well, I heard a noise, and then everything was on fire. And the baby was crying, and it was getting awful hot. And so I picked Jimmy up and brought him out here. Mm, that's a remarkable child you have. Most tots that size would have been so scared, they probably wouldn't have been able to get out of that trailer themselves let alone carry a baby out. And if this little girl hadn't carried that baby out when she did, he would surely have been burned to death. Oh, Patsy May, I'm so proud of you. So you see, kids, if you don't get excited and lose your heads when disaster threatens you, you can most always come out of it all right. Little Patsy May Cummings did, and she's only four years old. And I think uh, Patsy May Cummings really deserves the Lou Costello Jr. Youth Foundation Award. What do you, what do you think, kid? Well, Johnny, now you go ahead and give the youngest member on our honor roll our award. To Patsy May Cummings goes this week's Lou Costello Jr. Youth Foundation Award. And here are your prizes. First, a beautiful Bruin wristwatch. This is a solid gold 17 jewel groin, engraved from Bud and Lou. Next, a beautiful alligator leather personal radio from David's Industrial Gloves of Springfield, Ohio. Now you can have your radio with you wherever you go. From the K Jewelry Stores of America, a beautiful compact and a stunning necklace and bracelet. And a super streamlined airflow Monarch bicycle. This is a Monarch Super Deluxe, America's most beautiful bicycle. A complete set of all the medals of the Presidents of the United States in a beautiful leatherette case presented by one of America's leading coin concerns, the Numismatic Gallery of Beverly Hills. And a beautiful Stormberg Carlson Radio, the world's finest. And a gift from you to your mother, the sensational Lou Kirby, the nearest thing to push-button house cleaning. And another gift to your mother, a complete service for eight of Franciscan ware made by Gladding McBean and Company. And to you, Patsy May Cummings, goes this week's Lou Costello Jr. Youth Foundation Trophy for Good Citizenship. This is a beautifully engraved gold trophy made by Dodge Incorporated, largest manufacturer of trophies in the world. The Lou Costello Jr. Youth Foundation Award is given each week to a boy or girl for a civic good deed. Anyone can write a letter nominating a boy or girl. Just write to Abbott and Costello, Hollywood, California. Simply tell the story of an outstanding good deed or act of heroism by a boy or girl 16 years of age or younger. Well, kids, that's all for today. That's right, bud, but we'll be back next Saturday with another great star and the award for some deserving boy or girl. And lots of fun for all you kids. So long till next Saturday. <laughs> Remember, you can nominate a winner by writing a letter to Abbott and Costello, Hollywood, California. Don't miss the regular Abbott and Costello show on Wednesday night. Patsy May Cummings and her mother were portrayed by Don Bender and Lois Corbett. Johnny McGovern speaking. The Abbott and Costello Kip show is heard by Stuart Overseas with facilities beyond Forces Radio Service and is transcribed in Hollywood, written and produced by Eddie Foreman and directed by Hartfield Weedy. Thank <laughs> you.